Hello guys, welcome back to our M-Pesa series. In, the, in this episode, we are going to have a look at how we can be able to check account balance. Alright, so let's get into it. As is, as, is a, as is a norm, we're going to first of all have a look at how we're going to send our request, how we're going to expect our synchronous response to be, alright, and also how we expect our asynchronous response to be all right so let us start with our request so our request is going to look something like this one moment okay so okay, let's just format it a little bit all right that's how our request is going to look like our synchronous response is going to look something like this Let's format it. Okay, and our asynchronous response is going to look something like this. Right. Something like that. So as is the norm, we're going to proceed and create a DTO representation of this request. All right. So let's hover to our DTOs package. Let us add a new project. We can name it uh, check check account check account balance request. All right. This is going to be Jackson. For now, I want to generate the getters. Then uh, I think we good let me reload cool as usual i'm going to annotate this with at data all right so we have our check account balance request so we also need to generate our synchronous response dto that looks something like this and if you if you see from our previous episodes you're going to see that this synchronous response looks similar to our b2c transaction synchronous response so we can just basically reuse this maybe one thing we can do is to rename this so that it can be more meaningful right so we can name it uh something you can say common synchronous response right common synchronous response okay so we now have a synchronous representation of the structure we also need to generate our asynchronous response that looks something like this which again if you look keenly at this structure you're going to see that it looks the same as our b2c transaction asynchronous response basically something like this all right so what we can do is just generate a new class like this let me see check account account check account balance asynchronous response check account balance asynchronous response all right we also need to annotate it with not not duplicated but data and then we just fetch this value all right i hope it makes sense so like that and now we have a detailed representation of all our requests and responses as we ex as we expect them to be so let us now do all this next let us head over to our application yaml file where we now need to add another endpoint which is going to be check account i can just say check account balance url which is uh, something like this one moment like that okay since we've added a new configuration property in our yaml file we also need to edit our mpesa configuration so that we can be able also to to call it and use it all right so private string check account balance url okay so I think our basic setup is done. Now we proceed and do our implementation, right? So as usual, 
we expect a common synchronous response then we do check account balance okay that will be it for now then let us head over to our daraja api implementation and then we need to in to implement the newly added method all right so like that as is a norm we need to set uh, this request check account balance request okay check account goes to new okay then let us set the expected values let's start with the initiator set the initiator it's going to be a better configuration the initiator name we also need to set the security credential which is going to be helper utility dot get security credential then we pass in the password all right the next thing that we need to do is to set our command id which in this case is supposed to be account balance okay but i'm going to add it to our constants file then i'm going to call it uh, account balance account balance command right account balance command let's head over to our constants let us create it can just create it here public certificate on stream okay so this is going to be account account balance all right so far so good all right let's proceed let us set other values that we expect we also need to set our party party a which is basically the short code so get the short code there we also need to set our identifier type okay set identifier in this one i'm going to call it constants uh, good constants then now uh, we can say account account balance identity identifier right we also head over to our constants file let us add it actually this is number four is basically this is a short code identifier so let me just reuse this instead of creating a new one okay so short code identifier okay then let's proceed and do what let's also set our remarks so check account balance okay that we also need ah uh, this is not this is a remarks eh? set the remarks then we need to add the set q timeout url which basically is that one then we also need to set our result url which is like that remember all these values we are fetching them from our yaml configuration file all right which we are basically mapping them from our mpesa configuration object okay thanks to these annotations all right good let us now proceed and now with this we can be able to get or basically to now invoke and perform that rest call so first of all let us let me copy up to here then we see what we are going to change all right so in this one we need to send this as a json so i'm going to change here we also need the url is going to be uh, get check account balance url all right okay url oh, supposed to be get not set all right then authorization yeah so far so good then we need to now perform our call like this okay so we expect a response a common synchronous response so let us edit here as appropriate so in case there's an error we could say could not fetch the account balance right i think now with that we are pretty much done so let us create an endpoint which we can call 
to see if our implementation works as expected so public response entity of common synchronous response we can just check account check account balance all right this is just going to be a get get mapping with path we could say slash check account check account balance which which in return produces application json right cool then we need to come here and do return a response entity of okay then we say garage api check account balance awesome with that let us run our application and see if everything works as expected by the way so we can now delete these and then we can maybe change here and say transaction this or this just at least it may not confuse somebody okay let us run and see all right the application has started is running successfully on port 8080 so first of all okay that is clear let us now send a request and see if everything works as expected all right we've sent the service successfully this is the response we are getting from mpesa let's see and there we go we have our callback being hit so everything seems to be working as expected let's send another call and see what happens all right let's see there you go so our implementation of checking account balance is working as expected so this one was pretty much an easy one but in case there are any questions concerns shoot them in the comment section and i will make sure to address them in the meantime if you have not subscribed make sure to do so and turn on the notification bell i'll see you on the next one bye